G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's here today with the Quest Drifter Jumbo Chair. Get it. This is a big quad folding chair with a really sturdy frame and it's loaded with a whole heap of extra features. Before we dive in, we've got loads more content like this on our channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below. Now let's jump into the product. This is how the Quest Drifter Jumbo Chair looks when you buy it. Uh, about 110 centimeters in length and about 25 centimetres across this way in diameter, a little bit narrower at this end here. Now Quest is a newer brand to us, um, but they come with a whole heap of, uh, a long history in the outdoor industry, and they've listened to consumers over the years and addressed them in their products. Uh, firstly, with this being an oversized carry bag, there's actually extra space in this bag here, so it's easy to put back inside. Setting it up is nice and easy, just a drawstring top on this, and there is a nice durable handle on there as well, really comfortable strap that's well constructed. Take this out of the bag, and it just folds out like a regular quad fold chair. Let's get it out the bag, just grab the top, fold it out, and you're done. That's the chair set up. Overall dimensions, uh, just over 105 centimeters in height at the back here. It's about 95 centimeters from the edge of the, hand, uh, the arm to the other edge of the arm here, and about 65 centimeters in depth from the front edge here, to the very back edge here. More importantly, the, the seat dimensions, you've got about 50 centimeters of depth here. It's about 60 centimeters of fabric from here to here, but then it narrows down between the poles here to about 45 centimeters at the front. And the front seat height here is about 40 centimeters and that dips back a little bit at the back there. So 45 downs are probably about 30 to 35 centimeters at the rear here. Materials that it's made of, this is a padded 600 denier polyester here. There's probably a centimeter or so of um, synthetic padding inside there. And that runs right up the back of the fabric or of the chair here. So this is all the same material, just different colors. The arms are also slightly padded. There's a little bit of material in there, but 600 denier polyester. We'll go into the other features shortly. Same on the other arm. And the frame is a 19 millimeter powder coated steel. Now just while we're on the frame, this is made as a really sturdy chair. So not only having these cross sections here, it's also got upright sections on the side here that give it extra stability. So you've got the cross frame bracing the, the weight on top of this and the uprights that are supporting the weight, giving the chair a total uh, weight capacity of about 200 kilograms. So it's gonna suit even the largest person. Now looking at the features uh, of the chair, we'll start with this side here. So this arm has got a cooler pocket in it. So this is an insulated cooler pocket. It's only thin insulation, but enough to keep your drinks cool. Also just a storage pocket if you like, and a nice big pull handle on top of this. It's really easy to do it up and, and undo it. Below that, nothing much to see down here, but you can once again see the frame and the nylon components. There's also nylon fetal plastic feet here. Um, if something was to happen, you can replace the screws and things in these um, if they do deteriorate over time. Flicking it around even further, um, I'll stop on this angle here because I just want to show this strap here, which is the lumbar support that comes around the back of the chair here. It is uh, bar tacked in here, but there's also this padding here where your back will sit against the chair and that just stops the, the strap from digging into your back a little bit, a little bit of extra comfort. Further around to the back of the seat, starting at the top here, you can see uh, this is um, where Quest have jumped to put a few extra features in. A lot of these poles are just finished in a fabric pocket at the top of this, pocket, this section here, but uh, Quest have sewn in, a, a, I guess it's a nylon or a slightly rubbery sort of flexible plastic here that that pole finishes into, so that's just an extra feature they've added. You've then got this strap here, which adjusts the height of this um, handle here. It doesn't slide easily, but it stops it from going down too far. If you want that higher, slide this up and just tighten this strap and it stops the, the um, handle from dropping down too far. Further into the back of the chair, nice big pocket there that you can keep your storage bag in or whatever else you like. Not much else to see at the back there. Further around to this side here, large oversized can holder. This easily fits I mean, that's a standard can, but you could just about fit a wine bottle in there. There's heaps of room in there. And that is also insulated. It's got a probably half centimeter um, foam insulation in there and a little drain hole at the bottom. Further down below that, another one of those lumbar supports and a storage pocket on the side here. And there's one feature that I forgot back to this side here, and that is they've incorporated an extendable bottle opener into the chair here. You can take this off if you like. It just clips onto this little loop here, but that just stays on the chair. So you've got a bottle opener at hand. Before I jump into the comfort of the chair, I'll sit down, but I want to mention the wine glass holder that's integrated on the, this arm here. So this is designed such that you can put a stemmed wine glass in here. At the bottom of the, the glass sits out the bottom and the stem glass sits on top here. And it makes a nice sturdy place to keep your wine so it doesn't fall over on the uneven ground in the campsite. 
Now in terms of comfort of the chair, I'm 185 centimetres tall. Uh, obviously 200 kilo weight rating is more than enough for um, what I weigh uh, and for most people. But this is a nice depth of seat here that comes most of the way along my upper leg here. And I sink right back into the chair here. I can adjust the lumbar support here if I like, the straps on each side. I can adjust that while I'm sitting down just to pull in on my lower back there. Give me a little bit of extra support in the lower back. And in terms of the, the back of the seat, if I'm sitting with my um, back right against the back of the seat, I'm not getting any re um, support for my head. I probably actually need to loosen the lumbar support and then just slide forward a little bit. And if I do that, I've now got a place that I could comfortably rest my head. So look, I feel pretty comfortable in this chair. The arms are comfortable. The padding makes it a little more comfortable. The fabric's nice and smooth. Feels nice against your skin. I could fall asleep or sit in this, camp, in this chair in the campsite for hours, I reckon. That is the Quest Jumbo or Drifter Jumbo chair. Quest is a newer brand to us, but they've certainly thought about all the features that many other chairs don't. Heaps of experience behind their brand in the camping and outdoor industry. And you can check these out online at snowies.com.au where you find them at our lowest prices every day. Mm -hmm.